they told me flat out, Brian, we're not going to pay for the life-saving procedure. But oh, by the way, have you considered assisted suicide? I had two patients recently in Nevada on my service. Both needed life-saving procedures, not palliative care, not hospice. These would have been curative procedures. One patient was from California, which has passed assisted suicide, and one patient was from Oregon, which has had it for 20 years. In both cases, when I was explaining the need for transfer, for a life-saving treatment to the insurance medical director in both of those states. We hadn't requested assisted suicide. It wasn't put on the table. We weren't looking for life-extending treatment. We were looking for a curative treatment in both cases. And yet assisted suicide was offered up instead. I've taken care of somewhere in four figures worth of terminally ill patients. Compassion and care is what I'm all about, but this hurts people. This is not about compassion and care. This is about limiting choice and taking care options away from everyone. If I give you a terminal diagnosis, we are often horribly wrong, and the literature bears this out, in predicting how long you're gonna live. We might say you have four months or five months, these bills say less than six months. You might go a year, two years, five years, with a good quality of life. This is not legislation about aid in dying. It's not a right to die. This legislation gives physicians permission to kill, and we're not very good at predicting how long you have. Now, the most important part to me are the people that have nothing to do with this, the people who are not terminal, the disabled, the depressed, the poor and marginalized, being forced down this road because they're gonna be denied treatment by insurance companies, just like my two patients were denied treatment. And you know, the critics can say, oh, there's not proof, or you're looking at somebody it happened to twice already. And it's not even legal in my state yet. It's just legal in bordering states. This is a travesty of social justice.